Hi everyone, before we get started I would like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which we're gathering today, um, all the lands on which we gather today. Um, I'd like to pay my respects to Elders past, present and emerging and extend that respect to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. Okay, so if you're new here, hi, welcome, my name is Sarah and I do fashion, plus size fashion and beauty stuff, which is fun. So it'd be great if you could subscribe to my channel and get close to 100. And if you're returning, welcome back. Missed you. It's too hot for my hair down. I'm sweating like a beast. And I have the aircon on anyway. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to turn up my air conditioner. So I'm sorry if you can hear it, but I'm sweating like a beast. So today I am unboxing a parcel that I got this week from Ice Cream Beauty. Now, if you've seen my previous Ice Cream Beauty um, unboxing, which was my first ever one, I really liked the box, but the shipping to Australia is insane. So if you are in Australia, I don't recommend this box purely for the shipping. Um, I have actually cancelled my subscription, so it doesn't renew, but I still get the first three months. If you're, if you're in America or maybe somewhere where shipping is cheaper, it's a great box and it's pretty cheap. It's like 20 American dollars or something like that. And you can get a cheaper one too. So definitely recommend it. Um, if their shipping comes down to Australia, I'll let you all know. Here is the box. Hello. And let's unbox it. I don't know what I'm doing. Ooh. So I think this is the February box. So it's very cute. Very Valentine's Day. Look at that presentation. Love this. I'm gonna take a photo of it. <gasps> no! I'm just gonna put it on my stories. So if you're watching this, you've already seen it. So the February little ticket thing says, February, love you to peaches. So that's the theme of this box is love you to peaches, which is cute. Didn't wanna to give too many spoilers, so. Loving all these styrofoam hearts. I wish they were edible though. I won't eat them, I promise. Oh my God, there's so many styrofoam hearts in here. There's more, I've, I've, this is what, I've, I love this. <gasps> oh, there's so much going on in here, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm just gonna pull them out one by one. No particular order. The first item is a, it's a eyeliner? Lip liner. It's from Be A Bombshell in the shade Afternoon Delight. It's just a black tube. I'm just gonna let Gordy in and blow my nose. Come here. Good boy. Yeah, good boy. Good job. Oh, good boy. Now we have Gordy. We win. All right, let's open this liner. I hate these packages, the plastic packaging on these liners. Seems so much packaging, it's so unnecessary and so hard to get off. Or am I just super uncoordinated? Probably. Ooh, it's a nice matte black tube. And it's a twist liner, which I like, and that's the color there. Can you see it? Let's give her a swatch. Mmm, it's hard to come out. I had to really give it a go to get that pigment, but I'm wondering if it just needs to be warmed up. I'll try it out on my lips later, see if it feels any different. It's a very cute color, but it's a bit crumbly, the swatch. And um, it took a lot to get it out. So we'll see. It's still cute though. So it is Be A Bombshell Lip Liner. It is 14 US dollars. We got bubble wrap. I'm more excited about the packaging than anything else. All right, we have a Mirabella Blush Duo, 28 US dollars. This is what the packaging looks like. Nice and pretty. You know when cardboard packaging is really tight? I'm gonna have to rip the card. There we go. So the inside of the package, like the actual product itself is gray. God, I'm hoping it was gonna be pink. Whatever. Oh. Oh no, oops. Stuck my finger in it. Oh, these are beautiful colors. Look at those. I'm gonna do that. Oh. They're not your like standard, really bright colored ones, which is nice. So I don't know if you can really see it in the camera, but this one is like a really, um, 
almost like maroney pink. Um, it's really nice. And this one is um, a shimmer. So I guess it's a highlighter. So the shimmery one is Babe and the darker one is Sweetheart. It's a nice little thing. It's got a cute little mirror which I've just put my hands all over. So I'll give that one a try in a minute. Don't know if I'd pay 30 American dollars for it though. We have a lipstick from Hikari. And it's 17 American dollars. This is another container that they apparently don't want me to open. Okay, so this is a Hakari lipstick in the color Reef. Oh, it's bright red. It is bright red. Oh, it's like a corally red. I don't like the um, application. It's a little bit, uh, it's not very opaque. I had to give it a real go again to get a lot of pigment out of it. Um, it doesn't, I don't know if it'll dry down matte, I guess we'll see. Um, the shape of the applicator, it feels like it's going to break <laughs> when I'm applying it and it's moving around a lot so it was just a bit hard to use. But I'll put it on my lips and we'll see how she goes. $17 though, I don't know, I don't know. There are two things left and I'll start with these brushes. I love brushes. So this is the Enchanted Rose from Ruby May, oh no, from Crown Brush. It's the Enchanted set. So we get a foundation buffer, a powder brush, an eyeshadow brush, a blending crease brush, and an eyeliner brush. Let's open her up and have a look, hey? I like how obvious they've got the instructions here. They're like, this is what the brush is for. Use it for this reason. Yes, this is how I'm applying my foundation today. Ooh, very stiff. I wonder if it's meant to be like that. I don't really understand this. Why can't we do this? Why does it have to be this? It's soft, very synthetic feeling, very stiff. I, th I'm th I think a buffing brush is meant to be stiff. These aren't easy to get out of the packet. This is the powder brush. It is very soft and bendy. It's beautiful. And unlike the Shein brushes, they don't smell like chemicals. <laughs> I know you should probably wash them before you use them, but I'm just going to use them today. This is nice. Oh, you get them from down the bottom. There's a place to pick it up from down the bottom. I'm just an idiot. This is the eyeshadow brush. It's enormous. I don't know who's using this as an eyeshadow brush. It's like the size of my crease. Like, it's huge. These are nice long handles. It's nice. The crease brush, which got a little bit squished. It's not as, like, pliable as the um, powder brush. So it actually feels like it might be a little bit stiff. Like, it's not going to blend out. It's going to get stuck on my lids because they move. Because I got hooded eyes, there's a lot of skin hanging around. And the eyeliner brush. Oh, this is nice and stiff. This might actually work. The, um, oh, it's a bit frayed. Not frayed, but it, if I'm going to use an eyeliner brush, I want it to be really finely cut and no spray out hairs. Otherwise, you're just going to get imperfect lines. And last but not least, the reason that this is called the Ice Cream Beauty Box is that there is an eyeshadow palette in every single box. And here is today's. It's Florin by Ruby May. Look at this cool ass packaging. Check it out. Yes, please. This palette is 35 American dollars. It's exactly the same on the inside. It's a nice heavy palette. Ooh, here's what it looks like. No mirror. I guess you don't really need it. We've got other mirrors. Very bright palette. Very, very bright. Glittery shades look really chunky. And the, actually the shimmers look pretty chunky too. I'm worried that this is going to be a real chunky and chalky palette that's going to fall apart. But let's do some swatches. This gypsy shade. This green poison ivy shade. The rose gold blossom shade. The yellow shade. Ooh, 
Ooh, these are quite pigmented. Check that out. That's better than I expected. I did get a lot of this one and it is kind of falling apart and so is this shimmer. But as you work it into the skin, it becomes a bit less of a nightmare. These um, mattes look okay. Pigmented, but I don't know how they're going to blend. Or if they're going to blend. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Okay, so that's what we've got to play with today. So I'm going to do my base, my contour, my um, eyebrows, um, and highlight off camera. And I'll come back and do... Oh wait, no, I will do some of it on camera because I want to show the brushes, but not all, a lot. I'll just give you my first impressions because otherwise this video is going to be like 40 minutes long. All my videos are way too long. Way too long. I'm very sorry. Um, so I'll do that really quickly. You'll just see a little montage of my quick opinion and then we will get into the blush, the eyeshadow palette and the lip liner and lipstick. This is awkward. <laughs> I'm just not used to it. What is a buffing motion? Is it tapping? Is it this? Probably should have like googled someone using one of these. Oh well. I don't think this is a bad brush. I think I just don't have the right skin to use a brush to apply a liquid foundation. Whenever I've tried to do it, I always end up looking more dry. Now to be fair, I haven't been looking after my skin very well lately. So it is quite dry compared to normal and it's starting to get cooler here. Yes. Although it's still super humid. Thanks, Queensland. Um, so it is um, drier again. But this just feels like it's catching on all of my dry bits. And I feel like I would need to use more foundation to get the same result that I would with a beauty blender or a sponge. So I'm just going to grab my sponge and just put a little bit more on and see how I feel about it. Like this isn't a full, full coverage foundation anyway. It's, I know it's hard to see in the camera, but I feel like I've kind of evened out my dry spots a little bit. They're still there. I still have dry skin right now, um, but it's not too bad. So the brush isn't bad. It's just not good for my skin. If you don't have really dry skin, it's probably going to be fine. It didn't leave any streaks or anything like that. Like it did buff the foundation into the skin. So it does what it's supposed to. I don't know what I'm going to use it for. I'm having a snack. All right, this brush is meant to be for setting powder according to the instructions. So I'm going to do my concealer, my bronzer, my highlighter, and then put my setting powder on. Is that the water you're supposed to do it? I don't know. It's the water where I do it. I put way too much highlighter on, but it's fine. Do you reckon I'm getting better at my uh, bronzer? I think I am. Took some tips from Nikki Tutorials. To try and keep everything lifted. 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 How great is Nikki? Ow! This is really hard to open and I smash my thumb into it every time. If you hear something rattling, it's this table that I'm using in front of me. It's not, it's not level. Or maybe it is and the floor isn't because we recently built floor wardrobes and just realized just how uneven our house is. <laughs> it's a mess. It's a mess. Blush. I normally use this Nude by Nature powder brush to do my blush. So I am going to take this dark one very, very lightly. I just did one tap. I don't know how pigmented this is. Every time I, I gotta brush it. Every time I slam my thumb into it by accident, it seems very pigmented. So that's real pigmented. I did this. We're doing blush today. It is obviously too dark for me as well but it can be kind of cool sometimes when you're going for a certain look you don't always need to look fresh and pretty and cute but if you have a darker complexion than I do this is gonna be lovely I blended it out a little better on this side and I did took even less I'm just gonna keep blending this for a while 
Nothing gonna break this highlight though. So this is the trend, bringing your blush up into your temple. And everyone's making their noses pink at the moment too. Why not? This side's a bit much, but this side when I picked up even less looks actually very nice in person. It looks very bronzed because this isn't like pink. It's a darker color. It doesn't make me look fresh face in springtime. It gives me more of an autumn look, which is good because I'm actually in autumn. I quite like this. I haven't tried the other one. Maybe I should add some more highlight using that. More highlight. Just pick up a tiny bit. And just stamp it on top. The way I've placed this highlight has made my cheekbones look so lifted. This is quite cool. And if you're wondering about the highlight that I've used, by the way, it's the highlight that I got in my last Ice Cream Beauty palette. This, um, Duce or whatever it's called. I use it all the time. I actually really love it. I haven't used the other blush palette I bought, but I feel like I'll use this. I like this. Mm, I'm not always feeling pink blush, you know? I don't always want to look like a Disney princess. I mean, usually I do. Powder! This is my Cover FX powder. It is the perfect setting powder. The most annoying thing about this powder is not much ever comes out. <laughs> I don't normally like this setting powder with this um, base, but I'm going to give it a go. I'm just trying to press the powder in a little bit to my creases. So hopefully the makeup actually stays in those problem areas. Not a problem as in aesthetically I don't like my creases, but just a problem as in makeup wears away in those areas. I don't know if that worked, but now I'm just gonna... This is what it tells me to do. Sweep your setting powder across your face. And apply extra powder to the T-zone if needed. This brush isn't great for the pressing thing I was doing, but I was just trying to only use one brush because I'm lazy, but it does feel very nice just flopping all over the face. It's very soft and beautiful. I really like this brush. I will definitely be using it for my setting powder, um, but I think I'll probably just use one of those little matte things for my under eyes and quickly do my brows. I'll be right back. They're a tad uneven, but they'll do. I always feel so much more put together when I've got my brows on. Hmm. All right, now is the time to put my snack away and give this palette a really good go. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. I think I have to use color, right? I need to give it a good go. I'm gonna do greens. I don't own any of the green eyeshadows. Maybe in the last ice cream palette there was some. No, there was no greens. I'm gonna do green. I've never done green. This is going to be an absolute disaster. I know it, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to zoom y'all in a bit more. Going to match my hair. <laughs> I forgot about that. So there's one matte and two shimmers that are green. I'm going to take Destiny in my crease. This is really pink. Can't really see what I'm doing because I'm looking down into my mirror. But basically what I'm doing is finding where that really deep part of my crease is and painting a new one on top of that. And remember, you're gonna have to do something slightly different on each eye because your eyes and your lids and your eyebrows and everything are different shapes on each side. So you can't just copy exactly what you've done. I have to use a slightly different technique for each eye. Not that I really know what I'm doing. Um, all right, I am going to now take Poison Ivy, which is the bright green. <laughs> and I'm going to put that on my outer corner. Oh, she green. I uh, accidentally stamped it <laughs> up really high. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Bring that into my crease. I should be using my new brushes for this. Should I use this enormous one? I'm going to give it a go not what it's really meant for. It's too fluffy, but... So I've kind of got the wing shape that I want. Now I'm just kind of filling in the colour so that it's nice and pigmented. And then I'm going to blend it. 
that's not perfect, but it'll do. Now I am going to take, I'm just gonna take this little elf crease brush, it's quite small, and I'm going to take Willow, which is like a dark shimmer, and I'm gonna put it on the on the lid and up to my new crease. Now, I don't know if this is gonna work on a brush, so I'm gonna try it with a brush first and see how it goes, see how it applies. I mean, it goes on. You have to really get in there. Oh yes, not Disney princess today, Disney villain. And I'm gonna take a crease brush with nothing on it. Just blend the edges in. Hello, darling. Now on a, another tiny little blending brush. I am taking Cloud 9, which is a bluey green shimmer. This is actually going to be my inner corner shade. Because why not, right? I hope it's bright. Oh yes, she is. And then I'm just going to take Poison Ivy and do my under eye. I'm doing a dramatic Disney villain look apparently, so don't worry, it's all scary. And then I'll just take Willow, shimmer up the bottom a bit. Oh, come on. Oh, I love this. This is insane, but I love it. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna do the other eye and I will be right back. So I accidentally took this one way too wide and big. I don't know what to do. This one looks better than this one. Like way better. I look like disgusting right now. See what I mean about different shapes? This one looks really lifted, this one looks really gross. I don't think there's an amount of concealer in the world that can fix this. I'll just take any photos from this side. Pretty cool. Other side, let's see if I can match it. Hey, I'm a, I'm a witch. Are we gonna win? Yeah. I'm green. Bye. Can you put fish fingers in the oven? I put an obscene amount of lash glue on my lashes, so let's do my lips while I wait for that to dry. Ooh. All right, so this is in Afternoon Delight. Let's see if I can get this liner to work because it didn't really work on my hands. This is hard to use. I'm not very good at overlining my lips, so I'm just trying it out today to see if I can do it. God, you've got to use this a lot to get it to come out. And it's not very pigmented. I look like I've been bit by a bee. <coughs> I don't like this. It's a nice color, but um, it just is so hard to get going. One eyelash. This one I put a lot more glue on. <laughs> Needs a bit longer. <laughs> Let's do this lipstick. Let's see if I can break it. Thanks, I hate it. No, actually, it's a really nice color. And it shows up really well on camera. And I kind of love how intense this look is because I'm a Disney villain today. But it's not very pigmented. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. You can see my lips through it still, even though I've been putting it on for like five minutes. And I feel like it's gonna rub off immediately. But that's fine. I feel like this box has had a bit of a mixed bag. Things I really love. Like that blush, I'm obsessed. The brushes are nice, some of them. Um, the palette's kind of nice. Everything's quite pigmented, which is good. It's a bit hard to work with, but not too bad. The only thing is I don't really like other lip products. And maybe someone else will like them. 
but they're just not my jam. I overdo the glue on this side. Stay. It's gonna be a couple of minutes before I can... I think the reason the overlining looks so weird on this is because it's so... I can't get a sharp line from this lip liner. And also, I don't know what I'm doing. Here's the final look. What do you think? I am loving the greens in this palette. It's so nice to get a color palette that I don't have. Um, and there's a lot of bright colors in there. There's yellows and stuff, and I can't wait to use all of them and see if they're as nice as this. I think it looks really good. I think I'm covering up my bad side right now. I ended up putting up on more blush just because this look is so intense. So I like it. I like the dark blush. I'm into it. But as I said, if you have a darker skin tone, it's gonna be good. I look a little bit like a drag queen, but I love it. I'm actually impressed with myself for doing an okay job. I thought this was gonna turn out like an absolute mess, but it's kind of cool. And I like that my hair matches my eyes. So yes, that was February's ice cream beauty box. I obviously get them a bit late. I know it's March, <laughs> but that's what happens when you live in Australia in a pandemic. It takes forever to get things from overseas. So my opinion on ice cream hasn't changed. I still think it's a really great box. It's just so expensive to ship to Australia. It costs more to ship it than it does to buy the box, which is ridiculous. If you're in America, the shipping is pretty reasonable. Um, and I think, I don't know how accurate some of this pricing is. Like, I don't know, like last, last time I went and compared prices, but I couldn't be bothered this time. It was all relatively accurate. So you're definitely getting your money back on this box, even if you only like some of the products like I did. It's still worth it for me, if I didn't have to pay the shipping. But whatever. So overall, I liked the box. If you're in America, I suggest getting this box. I think it's great. Um, if you're in Australia, wait for the shipping prices to come down. Hopefully, as people start to get vaccinated, shipping costs will start to come down and things will start to go back to normal. I hope, because um, that would be great. If not, then it's probably not the box for us over here. Maybe one day. Anyway, if you liked this video, um, I would love it if you could give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I'm getting close to 100 subscribers, which is so exciting. I can't believe it. I don't know what I'm gonna do because I don't have anything to give away. I have no idea. Anyway, I would love to hear some suggestions from you guys of videos you'd like to see. Are there any subscription boxes that you would like to see what, what's in them? Um, do you have any makeup looks that you'd like me to try that you don't really know how to do and you'd like someone who is a bit more of a beginner like me rather than sort of a professional show you how to do it? Um, like if there's an, a particular aesthetic that you would like to try but you don't really know where to start, let me know. Um, I'd love to give it a go. I loved playing with makeup. It's super fun. Um, so yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna go now. You're all the best. I love you. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye.